Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Who Edward sent flirtatious messages to multiple young men, inviting one to stay with him in his hotel room and posting love hearts and kisses to another. The 62-year-old former presenter asked a BBC producer if he was around tomorrow night on the eve of Prince Philip's funeral at Windsor Castle in April 2021. Edwards told him he missed a good night as he prepared to present the broadcast. Sending a picture of a plush hotel room with only one bed, he said the freelance journalist could have stayed here despite strict lockdown rules at the time. And in another set of messages, a teenager aged 17 said they were contacted by Edwards out of the blue and he sent messages including love heart emojis. The messages create a striking picture of Edwards, who movingly described the Queen's solitary figure at Philip's funeral in St. George's Chapel as she stoically refused to break the COVID isolation regulations, which barred indoor mixing. She famously sat alone to mourn her husband dressed in black and wearing a mask and could not be comforted by her family during the 50-minute service. In another case, a young man said Edward sent him creepy Instagram messages when they were 17. It is not clear if the broadcaster knew the follower's age. The individual, who is now 23, told The Sun last year that Edward sent them a love heart emoji in October 2018 without having spoken to him before. Ahahaha <laughs> sweet. How it's going at the BBC, the follower is said to have replied. All good thanks X. You okay? Edwards allegedly wrote, followed by a love heart. Aha, uh -huh, yeah why, the follower said, to which the star replied, just being polite. This was followed by sporadic messages between the pair, with Edwards even advising them to take part in a BBC school scheme when given the opportunity. At one point the individual appeared to grow frustrated when Edwards did not reply, writing, no reply then. In their later conversations, including when school was mentioned, the presenter stopped using love hearts and emojis. The youngster added, in light of what I know now, it feels as though when he realized I was not flirtatious back, he changed in the way he would reply. Speaking last night, the now 23-year-old told the son, I was utterly shocked to see what came out in court about who. It is distressing to think back to the messages we exchanged that this could have ended a lot differently. At the time it felt creepy and knowing what I know now, I feel like I had a lucky escape. Edwards also sent selfies to a young man while presenting Harry and Meghan's wedding as the BBC figurehead tried to get him to send over naked pictures. He is said to have sent photos from the news at 10 Studio and from outside Windsor Castle as he tried to impress the heterosexual 21-year-old. It made up part of a year-long campaign where he pestered the young man for sex pics, finally unleashing a foul-mouthed tirade when he only received topless photos. It's disgusting. It was clear he was always trying to groom me and trying to use his position and money for his own perverse gratification, the man told the son. PayPal records show Edwards paid him £500 for a photo, telling him, F asterisk asterisk asterisk. That's one of your best. You look so good. In messages obtained by the tabloid, he continued, I want a pic of you totally naked head to toe. He later transferred the fan £2,000 before furiously messaging him when he was only sent through a picture of with the youngster's top half uncovered. Edwards raged, F asterisk 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 that. F asterisk 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 that. Really not impressed by you. I believed you were serious. But you're not. You chase me for cash. But you then, forget to deliver. F asterisk 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 that. Edwards, who led the BBC's coverage from Windsor on the day of Prince Philip's funeral, appears to have been keen for company on the night before the funeral. A day earlier, he told the youngster who was also working at the event, I'm there all day tomorrow. Staying overnight, then all day Saturday. If you're around tomorrow night, let me know. Then in the early hours of the funeral day, Edwards wrote, you missed a good night adding, you could have stayed here, attaching a photo of his very nice suite at the McDonald Windsor Hotel, which is just across the road from the castle. Edwards wrote, plenty of room, so easy. The disgraced BBC anchorman pleaded guilty earlier this week to receiving 41 in.